Jerry Parker saw what was happening here a long time ago. He became aware that Marines were being poisoned. He also became aware that claims were being denied under the Federal Tort Claims Act, which limits the ability of military personnel to sue the government. So what did he do? He took on the case of a beloved school teacher who spent 22 years teaching the kids of Marines on that base and became ill as a result. He took that case on and took it to the Supreme Court because for Jerry Parker, this was a matter of national honor and national disgrace. This is the worst possible opponent to have to take on because it's our own government letting our own soldiers down and our own people on the base down. We started working on this case in about 2009. As court after court rejected the suit for technical grounds, including statutes of repose and Federal Tort Claims Act, it became clear to Jerry Parker that litigation was not going to be the answer. We needed to change the law. Jerry Parker went to Washington, went to Representative Matt Cartwright of Pennsylvania, who wrote the original Camp Lejeune Justice Act. That, that act, which was introduced to Congress eight years ago, eventually became the Camp Lejeune portion of the PACT Act, which was passed this year. Jerry Parker has been involved in the legislative process, just as he's been involved in the litigation process throughout this uh, effort uh, for over 13 years now, and he'll never stop being involved in this.